me, Val Toxic Free. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Um, the thumbnail, by the way, um, although it looks pretty clickbaitish, it's not clickbait. I actually want people to watch this video because I think it's very important. And the reason I think it's important is because, well, what it started off with was I mean, I'm in a lot of support groups on Facebook and I help um, people that put up comments, obviously, and if they have any queries, and I've got a video that might suit them. I'll send them a video or I'll, I'll just help. I'm in about six or seven support groups. And there was one question one day. Well, it actually wasn't a question. It was a lady put up um, a screenshot and the message was, you know, you're the first thing I think of in the morning. You're the last thing I think of at night. You know, I really care about you. I think you're beautiful. I think of you all day. And then right at the end of the comment, it says, I, I have feelings for you, even though I've not met you yet. Now I thought, whoa. And everybody was telling this girl to literally run to the hills. I um, I had a need to click onto her Facebook page just to see. Now, I'm not stalking anybody, but I do like to see, you know, a little bit about who they are personally before I answer them or before I make a comment and I noticed that her Facebook page was completely open there was not one single thing that was private and that really worried me I um, all her photos every single photo she's got was open um, every single job she's had her job she's got um, all her check-ins every single thing that was on her page it, it concerned me to the point where I did actually email her. She hasn't replied yet, but so I wanted to use this today as a video to help people understand that Facebook, you know, we all watch videos after videos after videos. We all we're all on support groups. We're all reading books. We're all seeing therapists and life coaches. But yet, what do we do with our Facebook page? We leave it open, completely open. But what I want to say about that is the fact that obviously, yes, we research, we research, we research. But compare it to this. You're trying to make your house secure. You've been burgled, you've been robbed and you're literally kind of stressed, heartbroken and anxious about people coming and breaking into your house again. So what do you do? You put up CCTV cameras, you put up alarms, you put locks on things. You go around your windows and you put double locks on all your windows. You make sure that all the cameras are facing at each door and each window. You get a dog. You make sure that there's lights on. You make sure that the lights click on when people go by. You literally make your house like, it's like Fort Knox. But then what do you do? You go to bed and you leave all the windows open. And you leave the front door open and you leave the back door open. So you've gone to all that effort to secure your house and then you leave everything open. And that to me is the same thing as Facebook. You're doing every single thing you can to learn about narcissists, to learn about how to defeat them, learn about toxic people, how to heal, how to be aware, how to see all the red flags, know about gaslighting, grey rock. And then you leave your Facebook page open for every single freaking predator in this world to click on to you and say, oh, look, he's a culprit, he's a victim, he's a vulnerable person that's going through hell, that likes kittens, that's putting up quotes, that wants to be loved. Oh, look, I know where she lives. This is so easy. Guys, don't do that. Don't try and heal. Don't try and look out for videos and videos and sit and scrutinise videos and, you know, watch one after the next and do every single thing you can to heal when you're leaving your back doors open at night. You're leaving your windows open. You might as well just put a sign out and say, Predators, welcome. Come and screw me over. And what narcissists, predators, abusers, nutcases, maniacs, psychopaths, you know, this world is full of them. I want you to realise that YouTube does reflect the world because every single person in this world now has YouTube, Facebook, you name it. You know, you don't just... Um, think that the little families with children are sitting there watching the, you know, the, the little cat videos and stuff. The psychopaths of this world are on Facebook. So you've got to realise that when you, when you leave your Facebook completely open to the public, 
you might as well get your information, everything about you in a book, along with an album, with your photographs. You might as well put every single thing about who you are in a book. And you might as well leave it outside, let's say, the library, or put it in the library for people to look at. You might as well leave it outside the shopping centre for people to scroll through and look at. Oh, also telling them that they can take any photograph of you that they like, because obviously you can screenshot. You might as well just leave it, what, for instance, in a pub. Just let a gang of drunken youths or drunken men or, you know, flip through the pages looking at you in your Halloween costumes or in your sexy Santas, you know. Oh, and by the way, yes, they can take any photo they want and do whatever they want with it. You might as well just give it to your ex-boyfriend. Let them look through it with all your photos, all your images, you know, all your check-ins, where you go. You might as well just let the whole world leave a, leave a book everywhere you go of your whole life and let complete strangers just go through it. Would you do that? Would you leave a book about your life, your photos, your favourite places to eat, the past jobs you've got, all your friends, your family, your kids' photographs, your nieces, your nephews, at the beach in your bikini, at the gym? Would you leave that album with all your information available for everybody in the world to look at? No, but that's what Facebook is. That's what we do with Facebook. And I want you people who, to, who haven't been onto your Facebook page and checked. I'm going to show you how to check to see what you're showing to the public so that you can maybe tighten it up. And I think what I'll do in another video is I'm going to actually go into how to tighten up your Facebook page. But you've got to realise with your check-ins, if you've got a map with all your check-ins, Whoever's looking at your Facebook can see virtually where you live by all your check-ins. If you've got Costa Coffee Shop, your gym, the library, you've got, you know, all these shops you check into. And it's like, oh, I love this place. I come here daily for a brew. They know that's where you live. So all they have to do, whether they're stalking you, whether they want to stalk you, whatever, they can go to that place and they can say, oh, hello. Don't I know you? Oh, maybe you just remind me of somebody and they can start a conversation with you. They have your background. They have every single piece of information about you that they can. They can sort of invite you for a coffee and say, let's go and chat. And they can sit there with you and say, oh, do you know what? I love Dirty Dancing. I love that film. It's amazing. And you can sit there and go, oh my God, I love that film too. We've got so much in common. No, you've got nothing in common. He's faking it. He's making up a narrative. He's making up a story with what he's reading on your Facebook page to be who you would like him to be. These people, let's say he lives in Manchester. If you stay till the end of this video, if you can put up with that long, there's going to be something very interesting that just shows you how manic, how strange, how weird and how crazy these people can get they might want to meet somebody in their country or their city let's put it this way if you've got someone let's say Manchester they could go to Facebook and put a name in let's say they're obsessed with their ex-girlfriend or their mother or something Molly let's pick a name Molly sorry for everybody out there called Molly put the word Molly in search go to city put Manchester in you get all the Mollies from Manchester coming up. Pick a Molly. Pick a Molly who's got her page open. And then all of a sudden you can go to Molly's workplace and maybe pick one of, have a look and see what friends they've got from that workplace. Then this manic person who's completely nuts can contact you and go, oh, hi. I used to work where you did. Do you know a guy called John Smith? And you could go, no, I don't. Oh, hang on. Yes, yes, I used to work with him a long time ago. He left. And he can start up a conversation with the information that he's getting from your page. That's what they do. They'll look at your about section. They'll look at your family members. They can click on your family. They can get information from where your family live. They can click on all the TV programmes that you like, you might like. Holy Fools and Horses. You could like The Big Bang Theory. And then they'll start up a conversation and start saying, oh, I was up late last night. I was watching reruns of The Big Bang Theory. And you go, oh, my God, are you like that? I love that.
that. It's brilliant, isn't it brilliant? Oh, do you know what? Oh, God, my favourite is, you know, and you can start and all of a sudden you think this person sitting in front of you is your soulmate because all of a sudden he's coming out with everything that you like. He's naming the TV programmes, he's naming the films that you like. And you're having a fantastic conversation with somebody who you think you've got so much in common with, but really, they've just been taking notes off your Facebook page. They've been looking at your quotes, your motivational quotes, your quotes about narcissism, your quotes about how down you are, how you want a perfect man. They're reading your quotes about how it's lovely when someone texts you first thing in the morning and how they tell you they love you, which is when the psychopath you've just met in the coffee shop will start texting you first thing in the morning and tell you how beautiful you are. They'll script a story through and wheedle their way through your about, your check-ins, your pictures, your family history, everything, and they will create that person and mirror you through your Facebook page. They'll start talking about Barcelona, the day they went to Barcelona and oh, how they had great time in Hard Rock Cafe. You went to the Hard Rock Cafe? Oh my God, did you go to the Hard Rock? Yes, he said. I went to the Hard Rock Cafe, it was brilliant. Oh my God, I can't believe you've been all the places that I've been, it's amazing. He hasn't been to the Hard Rock Cafe, he was just looking at your photograph that you had taken with your friends outside. Barcelona Hard Rock Cafe and he's making a story up that he's been there too. What a coincidence. Oh my God. Your heart starts beating and you start getting this feeling that maybe this person's interested in you. Maybe this person's, you start seeing a future thinking, oh my God, I hope I can meet this person again because he seems amazing. He knows, you know, he's been all the places that I've been. He loves the stuff that I love. They know you love cats. You've got cat quotes and pictures all over the place. They know you're empathic because of your your quotes and your statuses and they know that you're empathic by all the likes that you've clicked on things where they can see all your likes. They can see everything about you so they know exactly who you are because you have put your whole personality, your whole photographs of who you are, your jobs. They need to go into your check-ins and they can, or your job, and they can click on your job and they'll see a map. They can click on your map, Google Earth. Then all of a sudden, they can get the little yellow man and walk him around your street and find out exactly where you work. Guys. Now, in my next video, I am going to start looking into trying to tighten up your page. I have done a video like before, but it was an old one, so obviously Facebook keeps changing. But what I'm going to leave you with is something that, whilst researching this and whilst looking at ways that predators can stalk you through your Facebook account, I'm going to leave you with this, which makes it quite unbelievable what people's, what the lengths that people will go to to actually find out where you are, find out where you live, where you've been. Find out where you eat. Please, please guys, will you look at your Facebook page? You can click on it and look at it from a public side. You can look at it from what the public see. I'm gonna do this in the next video. So if you wanna you wanna see all that, you have to subscribe to me, won't you? <laughs> but you are letting the world know everything about you. And if you think about it, the way that I said, about leaving a book in your life, everywhere in the world, in every coffee shop table, in every library, in every pub, you leave a book about your whole life, your likes, your dislikes, your photographs in your bikinis, your family, your friends, your kids, your jobs, your check-ins, your likes, your dislikes, where you go on holiday. Think of it like that. It's like a coffee table book and it's all over the world. Anyone can see it. So I'll leave you with this little clip now that I found. Please stay safe.
In Tokyo, a man was arrested on suspicion of stalking and injuring a 20-year-old female pop singer. Described as an avid fan, would zoom into the singer's selfies posted to social media, focusing on her eyes. Her pupils reflecting back at him, recognizable landmarks. Using Google Maps, the man was reportedly able to identify what train station she frequented and even where she lived. Oh. And in the midst of high-resolution cameras on phones, some media warn against even making the V signed with a hand for fear fingerprints could be stolen.